two, three, four, six. The path that I have followed in life is not the path that I thought I would choose. Um, when I was 16, I found out I was pregnant with the hopes of going to San Houston. Um, I had a big choice to make. The, two, the choice that I had was either to keep the child or to abort or give up for adoption. I did a lot of research to guide me through where I needed to go and what would help me help my decision. My mom asked me when I was pregnant, you know you have options. Do you have any that you'd like to take? And I looked at her and I said, no, there's only one option for me. So I knew right then that I had to make a decision and the decision that I chose was to keep the child. My, my junior year, we went to Sam Houston State and we went and visited and we did a tour um, in hopes of going to get my teaching degree. But when I was 16 and found out I was pregnant, that was all put on hold. I don't... I thought about my, my decision and just thinking about going off to college like all my friends and doing things and going to parties is the life that I wanted to go. But then when this hit me, I realized that that's really not where life has taken me. I chose to keep the baby and experience, and experience a life of changes that would change me forever. I knew getting my high school diploma was my number one goal. So when I found out I was pregnant, I was transferred to an alternative high school. And there I was amongst other pregnant girls and we got to experience the, the joys of pregnancy while being a teenage mom, which was a struggle at the same time. So I went to the alternative high school and after I had my daughter, I went back to the school so I could graduate. And at four weeks old holding her, I graduated from the alternative school. The following year, I got to walk across the stage in 2004 with my class that I had walked, that I had grown up with from middle school, elementary school, and from high school. I thought being a teenage mother was all fun and games and that it would be fun. And I thought I had the support of her father to help me. But when it came down to it, being a teenage mom was actually a lot of work. And of all the stress and all the struggles that we went through, I ended up being a single teenage mom. Along with getting my high school diploma, I knew that I had to get a job so I could help support her. So at 17, I'm a full-time mom, a full-time employee, a full-time student. And after a while, I realized that that was really starting to get to be a lot to me, and I couldn't do it. So what I did was I dropped out of college. I continued to work so I can get benefits to help with my daughter and to have health insurance. Five years later, when she turned six, I realized that I really needed to get back into school because I really wanted that degree. With her being in school now, I want to be able to show her that no matter what obstacles are thrown your way, you're always going to be able to conquer them. So I enrolled back into school part-time with a really good job working full-time and still being able to take care of her with the help and the support of my family. The sources that I have cited is Teenage Pregnancy, The Seven Traumatic Effects of Teenage Pregnancy. And this website talks about the seven main things that, that teenage moms go through in a teenage pregnancy. I also cited myself with personal experiences, and that is how I was able to write this speech. And I also did the National Campaign to Prevent Teen Pregnancy and Unplanned Pregnancy. And that website tells teens how to prevent <coughs> pregnancy. So that is my speech on teenage pregnancy. Does anyone have any questions? Would you do anything different now? If you knew what you knew now, would you do anything different? No, I'm happy with the choices that I made. Being a pregnant teenager, were you still allowed to go to all them parties and have all that fun or? No, being a teenage pregnant woman, child, it actually has a, a lot of health risk for young parents. So at five months I was put on bed rest and was not able to leave. 
I had to miss homecoming. I had to miss homecoming games, uh, the dances. I couldn't go out with friends. I couldn't go anywhere because if I was caught, I would be kicked out of school because I was put on bed rest by the doctor. What would you tell uh, younger women, younger girls out there as a bit, bit of advice? Um, I tell them just to keep looking at the future, that what you think is good right now may not be good for you in a year, and five years, that things come and go and it may seem like forever, but it will get better. 